Hi again. Today's topic is going to be um, every hairdresser's worst nightmare. What to do when you have completely screwed up someone's hair, um, like with bleach. So let's have that discussion. <laughs> Um, if you haven't already subscribed, can you please subscribe to my channel and like this video if you found it helpful? So basically, I'm just going to explain what I do, what I would do in this situation. So this is just personal for me. This is how I would handle the situation. So I have here with me an example of um, my poor little hair extension that I sacrificed to make this video. So what I'm talking about is when you've bleached someone's hair walked away, come back to see the foils. You open up the foil and you see this. Not very pleasant, is it? Very sad. Looks a little bit like noodles. Yeah, it's not great. So I'll just quickly rinse that off and show you the degree of damage. God, really makes me sad doing this, like intentionally doing this. Feels wrong. Oh, this poor thing. So, that is my bleached extension. It is very stretchy. Um, the ends are coming off like that. Oh my God, this is freaking me out. I'm like fully, I feel anxious right now, but I wanna just see what happens if I just pull it. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> oh shit. Oh God. I'm sorry, I just had to do that. So we're gonna talk about that basically. You get the picture. I feel like I've made a very big point there. So what to do when you've ruined someone's hair? First, I wanna just start by saying it can happen to anyone um, and it does happen to anyone. And it's not about how experienced you are. Like sometimes shit just happens. It happens to all of us. It happens to me. It still happens to me. Oh my God, I've got a rash. God, that's how much it's like freaked me out doing that. It's, I've literally, it's scary, right? It's scary. And when it happens in the salon, the same thing would happen. I remember it happening, happening to me specifically. Like I'd be in the salon washing off someone's hair and I'm just like having this anxiety attack because, you know, I've fried this person's hair off. And yeah, if you've had that happen, it's not a very pleasant experience. So I'm gonna talk to you about what to do. So the first thing to do when you figure out that you know the hair has been bleached and ruined you're washing it off it's just try to just take a deep breath because you're gonna have like your stomach in your throat it's a sick feeling if you've ever had it happen it is just a sick feeling and i've seen it happen to like people that have been in the salon with me and, and i've kind of tried to help them a bit with it too so just take a deep breath if you need to like walk away and just gather your thoughts, maybe put a treatment on, put a towel on, wrap it up, just walk away and just collect yourself. You know what I mean? Like just take that moment to just calm your farm, calm down, calm yourself down. Cause you, you just, you freeze and you, you're scared and you feel like crying and it's just like the world is ending. Like if I had an invisibility cloak, I would be using it right there and then cause I feel it. Even just talking about it, I feel it. Like, it's, um, I don't know how to explain it. It's just a bit of anxiety, I suppose. But anyway, so just collect yourself. Calm down. Then take the client back to the chair. And you've the first thing that you have to do is be honest with that client. Don't try and cover it up. Don't try and put a treatment in it and, like, not, and, you know, comb it all out not let them see don't try and hide it from them is what i'm is what i'm trying to say be honest tell them so once you've taken your moment to have a breath and calm yourself just gonna have to walk up to them and tell them look i'm really 
sorry, but unfortunately your hair has been quite damaged in this process. Um, some of it is coming off and um, I'm not going to charge you for this service today. I'm going to give you some treatments to take home and look after your hair. I want to see you in a week, maybe every week for the next month. I want to see you back in here so that I can, you know, check up on you. I can give you an Olaplex treatment in the salon. I want to fix this problem. That is what you do, okay? <laughs> you don't pretend that it's okay and blow dry it and try and kind of hide it and let the client go home and f figure it out themselves, okay? Because that's when bitches go crazy. That's when she's gonna go home and wash her hair and figure out that it's like this, if she hasn't already figured out that it's like that, if you've somehow managed to disguise it. She's gonna figure out that it's like that and then, hello Facebook, you know, you're all over Facebook. Oh my God, look at what this hairdresser did to my hair. So if you wanna avoid that, this is, the way I suggest you deal with this. And one thing I see people doing that really pisses me off is procrastinating and trying to understand like why it's happened. Like when you've got your client in the chair and you're like, oh, I just don't know why it's happened. Or what shampoo are you using? What, um, what box dye have you had on your hair? What have you done to your hair? Like, that's not good. You're essentially trying to blame that client. And do you know what? It might be their fault, but that doesn't help in this situation right now. Oh, um, such and such left my color on for too long, or I told the apprentice to wash it off and she didn't wash it off in time, and that's why. Like, don't play the blame game. That's just stupid, and it's not going to help you. You need to just move forward and fix this problem, not worry about whose fault it is. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if it's her fault. It doesn't matter if it's my fault. It doesn't matter. The hair is fucked. Like, and that's that. So don't worry about whose fault it was. Just fi just move forward and make this the best situation you can. Your clients, you know, they're not gonna be happy. They're gonna be upset because it's their hair at the end of the day that you've ruined. But if you are honest with them, they will respect you for that. I promise you. And I've had clients that that's happened and because of the way I have handled the situation and dealt with it and moved forward and actually acted as though I I give a shit about their hair, which I do, because of that they have come back to me and they've been loyal. People really appreciate honesty. People don't like bullshit. So just, it's, it's a horrible thing to do but the best thing you can do is to be honest. Be honest and look after them from there on out and that will stop you ending up all over Facebook and being, oh my God, this hairdresser, you know, fried all my hair. Like, okay, yes, she did fry all your hair. We're sorry about that. We're sincere about, like, we care. We, we don't want to fry people's hair off. We're not, my God, like you've seen, I, I'm just in a rash, like just talking about this. This is not like fun for us, you know? God, yeah, we get upset and we cry and we like, we don't want to do this to your hair. We do care. Yeah, that's just, that's my advice is just take a deep breath, move forward. No, I don't think that the client should have to pay for that service. I think that it should be a free. If you try and make them pay, I think that's pretty shit. You've just fried someone's hair off and you're still going to make them pay for it. You can't do that. Like, come on, guys, that's wrong. If you're doing that, that's just greedy and shit and careless and heartless and just don't, you just shouldn't, you just can't do that. You can't be like, oh yeah, that's $150. Hello, like, hello Facebook. <laughs> yeah, no, don't do that. Because I guarantee your client will be unhappy with that if you do that, so. So we're not gonna charge them anything for the service. We're going to give them a treatment and we're gonna book them in for a week, two weeks, however long it takes, and make sure that we can make this client as happy as we possibly can with the situation that we've got. So, I'm sorry if this has ever happened to you or if it happens to you, but I just thought I'd make this video because it's not something anyone wants to talk about, but um, I just wanted to make it just to kind of tell you like, it's okay. It's okay if this happens. It's 
just hair at the end of the day like it will grow back and maybe depending on how much damage you've caused maybe you can offer the client some extensions you know look for ways to move forward don't dwell on what's happened is the is the main thing that I'm trying to say yeah just look after that client and it won't be such a bad experience as what it potentially could be if you charge them and don't offer to help and it will be okay it happens to the best of us and one more thing I will say is a lot of the time you're freaking out when you're washing off the hair and it's worse it's actually not as bad as what you think it is because remember when the hair is wet it's always at its weakest point it's always gonna look way worse than what it actually is so try not to freak out like you you might think oh my god it's ruined and then you dry it off and you realize oh yeah it's actually not too bad as for the hair it's gonna come out it's gonna come out whether you comb it out or not I suggest you comb it out so that that client doesn't have to go through that huge anxiety attack you do it you just comb it out if it's gonna come out it's going to come out just get it all out give it a haircut you know cut off as much as you possibly can to try and make it look neat and um, move forward <laughs> well I hope that that's been a little bit helpful for you um, there's there's not a whole lot you can do I mean for the hair I just recommend probably Olaplex or some kind of reconstructing treatment like that the color color wise hair that's been jellified like this won't hold color so oh my I can't it's making me feel sick oh yuck I can't do that <laughs> yeah the color you're just gonna have to focus on first improving the quality of the hair if that's possible at all then looking at color because I can tell you now there's no color in the world that's gonna stick in hair that's like this Oh my god, I'm sorry, I can't stop playing with it. Oh god. <laughs> anyway, um, I hope that that's been helpful. If you have liked this video and you have found it a little bit helpful, can you please give me a like and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos like these. Thank you. Bye bye.